Weather Now with Jenny Woodward. And Jenny, what is going on with the heat? It's pretty awful, isn't it, Jess? Hello, everyone. Record breaking heat across the southeast last night. Tewantan on 27 had its warmest night on record, and Gympie followed closely with 27.2. But it was the high dew points that made it feel very uncomfortable. So, what's the dew point? Well, that's the temperature to which air must be cooled in order to produce condensation or dew. So the higher the dew point means the greater the moisture content in the air. And that's what adds to the steamy, sultry or muggy feeling that we get on these hot days and nights. Cairns today, the figures range from 27 to 34. It got to 35 in Rockhampton and 37 in Longreach. 30 in Brisbane with the dew point on 24.7 while it was 24 overnight and currently we're still sitting on 27 degrees. Townsville was looking green and lush in the wake of the cyclone. Thanks, Carmel, for this lovely photo. While Sharon could see a rare waterfall on the mountain near Springshaw after more than 90 millimetres overnight. And it looked like Philip was at a seagull conference at Fingal Beach, which is just south of the border, but I'll allow it. Now let's look at the satellite and you can pick up the big storm areas across the state and we have had severe cells through the day and they continue now in the central highlands and coalfields and down into the Maranoa. And there's also been widespread activity across the top end and into the Kimberley. Alice Springs is heading for 40 degrees tomorrow. It'll be a sunny 31 in Adelaide, 23 to, uh, no, 32 that is in Canberra and 29 for Sydney with just a light shower or two. Now let's take a look at the chart and we've got two main systems, the X-Cyclone and the Inland Trough. So these two systems are pulling in all of that tropical moisture and giving us the hot sweaty weather. Now the X-Cyclone is only moving very slowly about the northwest, so the heavy rain is going to persist along with the flooding while we'll have showers, storms and rain areas ahead of the inland trough with the risk of that coastal trough bringing significant falls in the next few days but still uncertainty about that. Now on to forecasts and the severe weather warning continues for heavy rain in the northwest in an area from about Cloncurry to Bullia and almost east to Winton while there'll be showers and storms elsewhere and of course it's staying hot. Inland widespread unstable weather but the focus is likely to be in a pocket around St George, Gundawindi and Roma where we could see falls of 150 millimetres or more. In the southeast, showers, rain heavy at times and potential severe storms, top of 25 in Toowoomba, 30 for Gympie. And for Brisbane, rain, the chance of a storm, heavy falls are possible, 29 the top and up to 45 millimetres possible. On the bay, east, southeast, at least of 15 knots easing through the day. And looking ahead, the Bureau have got 90 millimetres possible on the forecast for Tuesday, Jess, but then conditions will ease later in the week. But still, we do have uncertainty, so keep a close eye on the forecast. Oh, thanks, Jenny. That's news for now. Good night. Good night.